How odd. It's nearly midday and still dark. Perhaps it's the end of the world. I see what the problem is. Open the curtains, please, Hattle. Certainly, sir. <laughs> It's another ordinary day at Small Birds Singing. According to the local guidebook, the house is open to the public every day except Monday. Every day is Monday at Small Birds Singing. Colorful finches flutter in an aviary shaped like a globe. It is said they were once children who wandered into the garden and never wanted to return home. Not true! Not true! When Freddy Unbelievable, the legendary stage illusionist, mysteriously vanished, Small Bird's singing was left in the care of his nephew, Spandisman, and his two sisters, Delphinium hey, cheese. cheese and Consomme, architect of the Lover's Leap, which towers over the ornamental lake, <sighs> who sadly never found a lover with whom to share the leap. Delphinium, the once beautiful victim of a tragic cosmetic surgery accident, has tried everything to restore her face. The supernatural forces inside this pyramid will slowly make my appearance gorgeous again. <gasps> 28 days. One cycle of the moon. And it's time to take it off. Has it worked? Well, I'll be... I never thought anything would actually happen. Is Spandersman chasing butterflies? No, elephants. I'm very taken with your tiny elephants, Spandersman, but why have you bred them so small? These elephants are just the right height to dust underneath a sideboard. I must say, they're doing an excellent job. Yes, they suck up the dust with their trunks like tiny vacuum cleaners. The only disadvantage is the constant sneezing. <coughs> Sandy, make them be quiet. I can't hear the radio. <coughs> Meanwhile, Spaceman Thong, the living artwork, has been moved from the gallery. Ignominy. I am a serious work of art. This is mere decoration. <coughs> Spandisman Unbelievable, inventor and scientific dilettante, has been interfering with nature again. A mechanical honeysuckle attempts to strangle all who pass along the slimy parapet. Random hedgerows shuffle about during the night, making the fickle garden an unpredictable adventure each morning. Arguing apples grow on the hybrid tree in the orchard. Nice day. Rubbish. Worst day ever. Brilliant. Awful. No, it's super. Worst day ever. Brilliant. Awful. No, it's super. Awful. <laughs> Madam. Thank you, Hartle. You're a member of the secret society of masked butlers, aren't you, Hartle? T, sir. You're a successful masked crime fighter, Hartle. Sugar, sir. Your society summons you with a bleeper hidden in your tie, which bleats like a sheep. 
Your imagination is running away with you, sir. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. The port is ready to decant. Honk, honk. Good afternoon, Mr. Goose. I'm so relieved, Spandersman. I thought it was Mr. Goose we ate for dinner. You must remember, Consomme, that Mr. Goose has been genetically altered to look like a man. Inside, he's still just a goose. Honk, honk. I see what you mean. Honk, honk, honk. What is it, Hartle? Uh, the West Hedge, sir. They found a body. Do they need more clippers? They're saying, sir, she could have been there since the late 1830s. Mm, she's well preserved. Ah, what a lovely afternoon. Ah, the joy of an ordinary day at small bird singing. Thank you.